16, I had this 16-year-old boy still in middle school, and it was bad as fuck. And I was asking him, like, to sit down, stop cussing, you know, just being a little bully. First off, you 16, and I was in the seventh grade, so something already wrong with you. And then, so I kicked him off the bus. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. So we're going by Niki Nakia in the building. <laughs> Nakia. Nakia. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, all right. TikTok extraordinaire. How how long you uh how long you been on TikTok, man? Like how, how long you guys Cause well, first thing first, let me. Let, I was, oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was a little late to the party. I I just found out about TikTok not too long ago. I want to say a year, maybe, if that. Okay, okay. So, Nikia, how how long you been driving, man, and what you was doing before then? Six months, and I was driving. Um, I was a school bus driver. <laughs> Okay, okay. So you so you had your class B before you converted it over to class A? Or you had your class A altogether? No, what got you into like well first thing first, what what got you into driving school bus? Like, I mean, you know, that's that's a whole different breed right there dealing with kids and everything. It is, and they was bad too. Um, I wouldn't say I wanted to drive a school bus, I always wanted to drive trucks, but like, my parents was a little scared that me being a female over the road, and, you know, they kind of put their worries on me. But as you get older, you just got to realize that you got to do... Cool. This coffee smells like shit. No, this... I've been wanting to do trucking. That's why I'm late. I wanted to do it when I first got out of high school. And, um... Uh, yeah, the pandemic just made me go ahead and do it. So I feel like that was a blessing in disguise. That was like the perfect time for me to even get it. Because the pandemic pretty pretty much shut everything down, including schools. Exactly. So yeah. So how? So it, it sounds like you're young. How old are you? Uh, I'm 28. You, okay, you what? Okay, you're not that young. So. How long have you had? How long have you had your license? Um, two years. Oh, okay. Okay, so two years ago you was twenty six, and your parents still had something to something like y'all. I don't want you to go out no, there over the I, road, little lady. No, I had this conversation with them when I just graduated high school. And then you know, once they said that, I just went on to doing different things. I had got my little certificate, trying to do CNA wasn't for me. I just had jobs left and right, getting them, quitting them. It just wasn't for me. Okay, okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. So you decided to go and get your license. What, what, which route did you take? Uh, did you go to a school? Or, well, I'm, I'm going to assume that you went to a school because if you would have went to a trucking company, you would have been into a truck, right? Yeah. Okay, I so, went to 160 Driving Academy. Woo! 160 Driving Academy. Man! Okay, so a lot of people have different experiences with that particular driving school. Which which one which which one you went to? Um in Illinois, the Belleville location. Okay, okay. Now the now the one down in Florida, I I I talked with somebody and they they had the issues mm -hmm. with the one in Florida. What was what was the experience the one what was the experience up here in Illinois? And that's where you from by the way because I see that your phone your phone pinged you in Illinois. Yeah, that's my phone. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So my driving friends, it wasn't they have more students than like drivers so you don't get that much behind the wheel time and um but i came in kind of knowing like how to operate the truck a little bit mm -hmm. they say everything you know about driving the seat throw out the window but that's not the case you just got more good so i knew how to like push the clutch then 
do mm-hmm. all that. So it wasn't it wasn't bad to me. I liked it. Okay, okay. So you got so you you're fully vested in your license or you're restricted? Every day for the last ten years, Loretta there has been giving me a large black coffee. Today she gives me a large black coffee, only it's got sugar in it. A lot of sugar. I just came back to complain. How you boys put those guns down? Nah, I'm this. Ain't no restriction. Oh, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so... <laughs> So school bus, uh, how how long was you a school bus driver? And do you have any, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you did. Do you have any uh, horror stories that, uh, that that you could share with us? I mean, I had this 16-year-old boy still in middle school and it was bad as fuck. And I was asking him, like, to sit down, stop cussing, you know, just being a little bully. First off, you 16. And I was in the seventh grade, so some already wrong with you. And then so I kicked him off the bus. People are so soft nowadays. I remember getting kicked off the bus all the time. So they had pulled me over and like, asking, you um kicked the student off the bus? I'm like, yeah. They were like, you can't do that. Now we got to pull the cameras and all that. But the cameras weren't working that day. <laughs> I was still able to keep my job. Okay, okay. But so future yeah, future school bus driver, you can't kick the the kids off the bus. Just know that. E- even even if the kids was was in the wrong, you you still can't kick them off the bus? They you 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 can't kick them off the bus at all. Damn it, man. Mm. I like I said growing up, I used to get kicked off the bus if we did something wrong. You can't do it. Man, that's crazy. How long you been? Uh, how how long you been driving school bus before you uh, decided to go over to semi? Not long at all. Three months, and once I got this job, I pumed. I ain't even give them a two week notice. <laughs> you said you pumed. <laughs> <laughs> I pumed. <I>, bye. <laughs> Later. <laughs> all right. So so you're with a uh, you you you're with a company. Are you with a major carrier or are you with a small carrier? Where 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 you at? I'm gonna say it's a kind of small carrier. Okay. Okay. So Hello. so in your TikTok video, you 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 wanted to give a PSA. So you're driving where and what happened? In Knoxville, Tennessee. And I switch the lane so I can avoid an accident. Some truckers are assholes. I'm just saying. Some of them are assholes. Literally jumped in front of me, then have no room. So your alarm start going off in these new trucks, like if you close to a vehicle. So I just switch lanes to let them, you know, go up, make the gap increase. And I got right back over. But sure enough, when I looked in my mirror, the police was right behind me, flagging me. I explained to him what I was doing, but he he wasn't trying to hear that. So wait a minute. So a a semi truck cut you off, forced you oh, over in the le- yeah, yeah. forced you over in the left lane, so that you know you won't mm-hmm. cause no accidents or nothing like that. And as soon as the yeah. way and you was hold you know you was holding up, as soon as the way was clear, you was going to get back into the right lane and continue to travel the flow. But you know this five yeah. oh, but you know this five oh behind you. Did they? Did, yeah. I mean, if they was that close behind you, they could have at least seen what happened that made you get into the left that's lane, what right? I said. Yeah, that's what I said. But I, I can't say what he did or didn't see. Because when I got back in the right lane, I looked in my left mirror and I seen the lights behind me. Because when I was switching, he was switching. So I don't know what he didn't seem to then see, but I explained it to him when he pulled me over. See, sometimes and he said you was going too fast. Sometimes it's just sometimes it's just better not to say nothing at all, man. Listen, this this is what I'm gonna tell. This is what I'm gonna say. And a lot of people agree with me, a lot of people disagree with me, but it is what it is, uh-huh. man. I, you know, when you get pulled over by a cop or by DOT or by a state trooper, your best bet is not to say nothing at all. You know, just just hand them the paperwork and all like that because see, they they want they bait you into saying some into saying something that's 
you know, that 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 want, you know, that they can use against you. Now, mind you, everything you do say will be used against you in the court of law. So it's just better to be yeah. like, it's just better to be like, you know, they, they come up to you. They'd be like, you know what? We pulled you over. Hi, um, my name is Peter Parker and I would like a coffee, please. Okay, no problem, Peter Parker. I mean, he told me why he pulled me over before. He was just like, you know, I pulled you over because you was in the left lane. I'm like, yeah, and then I had to explain my, you know, my little situation. But he tried to say I was going too fast. I said I wasn't going too fast. My truck only goes 66. So I wasn't trying to pass up nobody. So where where were you? What highway you was on when this happened? Cause that's the first time I, Ooh. you know, I know this. You said Nashville. You you say Nashville, Tennessee, or Tennessee? No, Knoxville. Knoxville, Tennessee. Now that's that's kind of funny yeah, because Knoxville. that's kind of funny because I drive Knoxville, Tennessee all the time, and that's that's the first time mm -hmm. I ever heard of of a driver actually being pulled over for being in the for being in the left lane. And I'm sure you wasn't in the left lane. You wasn't hogging the left lane. You wasn't. You wasn't in the left lane. You know that long for him to even proceed that you was Hell hogging no. the left lane. I wasn't at all. I switched and then switched back. He was already out. He was probably just looking for somebody. And unfortunately, he 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 found you, man. Damn. That's, he did. He did. Uh, did he it's tell? Okay. Did he? Did he tell you how much the ticket was gonna be, or or was was what's the next step in 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 getting this ticket ticket My rectified? Ticket is one eleven fifty. How much? No, I got one eleven fifty. So, do you think this ticket? It's is this ticket gonna be a mark on your MVR? Or is it, or is it just, well, I'm going to assume it is because it, it, it's a traffic stop. I think right? it is too. Because when I asked him, he was like, no, nah, a citation won't. And I'm like, you lying. You lying. Yes, it will because you gave me a citation. It's a ticket. Right, right. And it's a, it's, it's a traffic ticket. It's, I mean, it, I mean, it can be considered a moving violation, considering the fact that, you know, but yeah, what you want to do, um, I mean, th and, and you know, this is a lot of stuff that uh, people don't talk about. You know, they, they talk about how how good it is to get into the industry and all like that, but they don't talk about situations like yours when, you know, you get a ticket for something. You, 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 can't, you can't go on TikTok and, and search for, you know, uh -huh. what, what, happened, what happened to you if you get a ticket. And nobody, you know, nobody on that app actually knows. So basically there's two ways you can, well, there's a number of ways you can rectify it. But the main way is to, you know, find a lawyer to see if they can get it knocked down to, you know, to something that won't affect your license. But in order to find a lawyer, you gotta go. You gotta go through the phone book or you know internet and all like that. Then you gotta find out how much they charging you just to do that. Um, there's there's apps. There's trucking lawyers like Legal Shield, uh, lawyers for truckers, and all like that. Look into that. Um, the other way is just pay the fine. You know, just pay the fine. Mm -mm. But sometimes, you know, sometimes, you know, when you're looking for a better trucking company, you know, they're going to go back on your MVR and, you know, check that. Speaking of companies that going back on your MVR, what did your company say about the situation? I'm sure you had to turn it into safety. Put that coffee down. Yeah, I, I talked to him. Um, I just took a picture of the ticket, and he's going to get back with me today. But I definitely have CDL legal. Because I was asking him, I'm like, do they cover this, or do I need to find my own lawyer? And he was like, no, nah, they cover it. Just send a picture of the ticket. So 
pretty much they're gonna take care of it. Yeah, is that is is that a is that a company that you gotta pay like a membership fee? Because I know I know with Legal Shield you gotta pay yeah. like thirty five dollars a month. Yeah, it's thirty. Yeah, yeah, they it's, do. They take it out their check. Yeah, it's thirty-five. They take it out my check every week. Yeah, it's thirty-five dollars. Well, for Legal Shield, it's thirty-five dollars a month. But uh, but if you get to, if you're not part of the Legal Shield team or thing, then yeah, you they'll they'll they will re they'll uh they'll give somebody to you, but you had to pay them directly until. You know, until the next time, if, if in any case or whatever. But yeah, just yeah. you know, yeah, it's 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 crazy out here that you know DLTs, uh, state troopers, you know, they 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 focus they vigilance more on on the truck drivers than than anybody else because you know they know they can they they can get some type of you know some type of. Uh, funds out of you yeah yeah so for your little definitely, how, i definitely agree how long you been driving with the current company it's going on six months oh uh, six months all right yeah is this is this the company after you got with the i, I mean is this the company that after after you got with the bus from the bus uh driving yeah. okay yep all right, all right, cool, cool. All right, that, how do how do I pronounce your name again? Nakia, na, damn it, Nakia. Nakia, see, I, I know you're gonna beat me up. Yeah, you're gonna be like this motherfucker can't keep my name right. <laughs> <laughs> Nakia, Nakia. Thank you very much, yeah. ma'am, for coming on and sharing your story with me. I really do appreciate it. I find, you know, interesting uh, individuals on this app, even though I'm not a fan of the app. I really don't like it, but but I do give this mm -hmm. app credit for me because I, I come across uh, interesting people that I that I talk to on uh, on my platform. So I thank you very much for sharing your story with me. Oh, no problem. Big G's got it locked, boy. Won't you love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Won't you to take it like a G and yeah, I'll make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean. Sip on my push. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me. Cause you my little boo. How many times I gotta tell you don't fuck around? Cause they got you insecure. You need a 